Okay. Okay. God bless you. My name is Brother Jonathan Kale. I uh, want to share this testimony. Basically, um, so this testimony, like I said, I could easily give videos um, giving testimonies because it's kind of quick, fast, to the point or whatever. So, like, I want to just share this real quick. Basically, I had a I had a testimony where today I, um, you know, for the past couple of days, I've been asking God, like, you know, in prayer as I'm out and about, um, you know, uh, use me um, for your glory. Um, you know, prayers that I used to pray that I kind of got away from praying and haven't been, you know, saying too often. And so, um, just like, you know, Lord, use me for your glory, um, you know, uh, things like that. And so, um, what happened was today, as I going about in my day, um, I'm driving and as I'm driving, I'm over there, uh, Florida Avenue and New York Avenue. Now, you guys, maybe if you are up to it, you can go on Google Map and you can see what that looks like. Florida Avenue and New York Avenue. It's a Wendy's right there. Um, and it's like a it's a it's a it's a almost like a half moon turning intersection where it's a bunch of different directions that you could turn but you all got to come to this particular spot well anyway um and that's like on the corner of uh florida avenue not far from the uh new york avenue side but um it's not literally florida avenue new york avenue but it's oh man i don't know that street but it's a bunch, it's like series radio stations right there. It's a lot going on in that intersection area. Bottom line is, a dude was right there in front of me at the red light. And I'm trying to figure out why ain't he moving, right? And so I'm like, dang, why ain't this dude moving, man? Like, light turned red and or why ain't his hazard lights on? Like, if the dude got to stay where he at posted up in front of me in front of the red light at least throw on the hazards so i get out the car i check and see what's going on he got tents so i can't really see as clear as i would like to see however the back seat window on the passenger side on the on the passenger side and on the driver's side both back seat windows are like Roll down, I say like um three fourths, you know, and uh, so I could see in there a little bit, so I could see the guy here in there by himself, uh, and then so, but I go straight up to the to the window, and I get to looking in, and I, it's tinted but it ain't fully tinted, and so I'm like, oh man, this dude sleep. Right when I look in there, I see the dude sleep. So I go in from the other side, you know, because I want to kind of check and see if he got a pistol. I kind of got out twice. At first, I told the dude, I said, "Dude, wake up, man, wake up," because he wasn't waking up. It was taking a long time for the dude to wake up, man. And when he was waking up, he was going right back. I could see he wasn't shot. I see he wasn't killed. I see he wasn't wounded, stabbed, heart attack. I could see. Well, I can't say I could see he didn't have a heart attack. But I could just see that uh, he didn't look, according to the physical eye, wounded. Okay, according to like, you know, if he's bleeding, you know, or any flesh wounds. So I say, man, dude, you're going to have to wake up, right? And I'm, 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 I'm getting on him. I'm telling him he's going to have to wake up. I'm telling him, man, you know, he's going to get himself killed. He's going to get himself hurt. Or he's going to hurt somebody because... You know he he liked this um and actually i think i said all that on the second go round because because he kind of woke up a little bit after i like you know tapped that window you know and and, and yelled at him 
Like, dude, wake up, wake up. Come on, man. You at the light. You know what I'm saying? So um that's the first time. So then I went back in the whip, you know, people looking at me and they like, what's up with the dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? And so uh this amigo uh brother, you know, we call we call uh Latin, you know, amigos or whatever. So the amigo friend, you know, amigo, but we call them amigos. Okay, so the amigo dude, he he in the um company vehicle side by me, right? And um, and I say to him, oh, and he say to me, he's like, man, what's up with the dude? And I, I just like, I was so like focused in my own zone, I just walked off and ain't say nothing to him. But then um, the second time I went in, and I and I actually told the dude, man, you gonna get somebody? I saw I went in and get my car. I see he wasn't moving. Got back out the whip, and then I told him, I said, man, you gonna get somebody killed, man? You gonna get yourself hurt or killed or something's gonna be happening bad, man? You need to, you, you're a hazard. You're dangerous, man. You don't got your hazard lights on. And you're you're a problem, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm I'm just saying the best way I could say it. I know I didn't say it that way, but uh, I was really kind of hyped and really trying to get his attention. And um, by the second time, I realized the dude was high. He was high out his brain. So um, by then, that's when I walked past the amigo dude because everybody's still waiting, right? Some cars are going around, but it ain't all that easy because it's kind of like tight, and then you can hit somebody trying to make your way out. And, and go your way so you know it's and then you know it, it is what it is so anyway so um so i passed by the amigo i said man the dude sleep right and then uh he like dag man you know he high or whatever whatever and i'm like yeah man he high because you know we kind of figured and you know it's kind of sad when you ride around in dc man ride around in dc you know uh it's really sad man it really is it's a lot of people high man and um, we, it's funny how we focus on so many different things and talk about so many different things, but like riding around this city is like seeing a bunch of zombies off of K2, off of Dope, you know what I'm saying, Division Avenue, over there MLK, uh, I mean, you know, Florida Park, um, you know, uh, not really Florida Park no more, but still like, it's still areas where they where they just be doped out. Seventh Street, you know. Um, I mean, the list goes on, man. You know, it's just too many spots. I can't really think of all the spots, but they just be out here by Second and D Street Shelter. You know, where I used to be at, working at rather. Um, it's just all over the city. Some of it might be K two, some of it might be um, dope, meaning heroin. And um, you know, it's just really bad, man. It's a it's a it's a really sad sight to see. Um, Baltimore worse, but uh, but at the end of the day, DC is bad. Like you can't ride around the routes that I'm riding, which is a large span expanse of DC, and not see the things I see. I'm talking about I'm seeing breast assists all out. You know, call it what you want. I'm seeing all that, right? I'm talking about like, what's this? You know what I mean? Like nakedness fully. And you know, I mean, I used to see this coming up as a youngster when they used to be high off the PCP, but now it's a little different because um, I'm not gonna say it's better, but uh, it's just different. So um, anyway, uh, so then the dude get to driving around. Now he on New York Avenue. But see, when you drive around New York Avenue over around that Wendy's, you got the, I think that's the ATF building right there that you passed by. And I think he went straight down to get back on Florida Avenue, passing by that ATF building, going on the path of uh, the uh, wholesaling district. Well, you might sell like, you know, they might have uh, foreign foods like goat and lamb and, you know, they selling that over here. Or they might be selling like, you know, uh, FBI, welcome to D.C. shirts. You know how it is for the tourists and stuff. They got the tourist wholesaling spots right here. So this is the wholesaling district, right? Warehouse kind of vibe, you know, 
and um, a lot of foreign foods and stuff like that district kind of spot, right? And so anyway, uh, he turning in that direction, but then he park again. Not park, but like stop again. And he sleep again, okay? Now, this is my third attempt to go get him. But on this go round is when I finally realize, and I'm already ahead of him. But so, so mind you, so I'm telling you where he went, but I don't already went around him and went, kept going, right? And so I'm ahead of him in all reality. So now I'm already on Florida Avenue, which he hopped back on, but behind me. So, but mind you, he sleep again the third time as far as my awareness, right? Because, you know, he been out here. So, but now I'm ahead of him. And I said, in the dawn of me, it was the Holy Ghost. Nah, man, you asked for me to use you, right? So I say, yeah, that's right. The Lord did tell me that he was going to use me. But see, before that thought even came to my mind, the thought came to my mind, before that thought came to my mind, go back. Right, and um, and and, and, and holler at that dude again, right, and see if he all right, you know, because because when you look back, you saw that he, you know, you saw that he ain't moved from the spot. He back over there, of, like not far from New York Avenue, and not far from um, basically with an old uh, it's like underneath a, it's like underneath this uh train track bridge. You know what I mean? That's and he we and this ain't nowhere from each other. Understand? This is like we just we just feet away. We just five hundred feet away from where we was already at. You know what I'm saying? And so um so now at this point he underneath the train tracks, not far from the ATF building, not far from the old uh the old Burger King where they still remodeling. No, now it's a uh, Nah, yeah, they still remodeling, trying to make it into something, and this is still right by the um the Whole Food District, right? Because this is all this stuff ain't far from each other, you know. And so, so as I'm saying this, like, I'm like, well, you know, what? I need to go back and see about this dude. So then, by the time I went to go back and see about him, I said, well, what up? What should I do? Like, how should I do this? Should I? Like, let me go look for some police. Because that's what came to my mind also. Like, man, go get a police officer or something to help this dude. Then I said, nah. Because that's when the thought kicked in real strong. The Lord told you. I mean, you told the Lord to use you. So the Lord is trying to use you, not the police. So I was like, yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? Talking, You know how it is when you're talking to yourself and then talking to the Holy Ghost. And then, you know, you, you kind of getting your thoughts in order and getting your ducks in a row. And so I said, yeah, that's true. So then that, that's when I uh went back. And when I went back, he already driving by this time, right? So like, boom, I got to make a U-turn and get behind him because I see him. He done rode past me. I'm like, is that him? And he driving all slow and he half sleep and nodding off but still driving halfway functional so you know i'm saying and so then he he hit a left by the trader joe's right and see we still on florida avenue right so you can see this if you on google map if you care enough to go as far as looking about what this looked like so then boom now i'm over there um we all now he turned like i said he turned into the uh by the Trader Joe, he turned into the the warehouse district. So then, boom, he get out. I mean, excuse me. So then he fell asleep again behind the wheel again. Okay. Now this time, I get out of the car again. I get behind him. I get the beating on his door. Hey man, you gonna get somebody killed, or you gonna kill somebody, man? I said, look, man, you need to wake up, man. And I'm I'm yelling at him. I'm barking on him, and I'm telling him, look, man, because you know you gotta understand, you can't do no little this ain't them situations oh brother did you know that the father loves you in jesus name? nah man you gotta talk to this dude like he's about to die you understand like ain't no none of that i would like to just welcome you to the good life ain't none of that 
So I try to tell him, I said, look, you need to back out and back into this. Uh, then I thought to myself, don't tell him that because he's not even able to do no reverse. So I said, no, look, tell this dude. So I said, man, look, turn this street. And so then he turned that street, right? But then he, um, and then I thought, I seen this African lady, she's about to get out. She seemed like she's about to get out because she was going to one of them foreign stores. But she ain't get out. She just parked, I guess. It's so my like, dang, because I was trying to see if I could get him to park in that parking space. But I couldn't. So then, boom, I look across the street. It's an alleyway, right? Boom. So I say, hey, look, dude, I come back. I say, hey, look, man, look, you need to get in this alleyway right here, right? So I said, look, come on, man, drive. So I'm like actually driving. I'm actually uh walking because he he like so gone that he ain't really driving no speed. So I'm like walking him on the passenger side to the direction where he need to go. Okay. And I walked him basically up into the alleyway. You know what I'm saying? And I say, look. Park now, stop. Park right here, right? Because that's how slow he was driving. Where so I could just walk him in it and guide him. You know what I'm saying? And um, and then after that, I'm like, man, well, don't don't abandon the vehicle, right? So I go and get my vehicle, and I go ahead and um, park it right behind uh the entrance of the alleyway or whatever, right? So then after that, I go back to him, and I say, look, man, look. You are high, okay? You too high. You hide out your mind. You doped up. And so um, I peek, too, that he got the ibuprofen or whatever you call it. It's like these things you could spray into your nostrils, right? Now, this is what I put one or two together because I was over there on Division Avenue working out. And that's a testimony too, but I don't think it's as, I mean, it's encouraging, but it's not like this. This is a little extreme, even though that one actually could bless you probably more because what well, I just say, basically, I went over there to work out real quick and I seen people out there with those little, like the things you could like put in your nose, right? Basically, it's like, uh, it's nozzle spray, you see what I'm saying? And that's a dope strip, okay? We talking about Division Avenue right here. It's in between Clay... Division Avenue is on the side of Clay Terrace Projects, but it's across the street from Lincoln Heights Project. And that's Division Avenue. You got Lincoln Heights on this side, and you got Clay Terrace Projects on this side. And them two projects to beef with each other right now, you know what I'm saying? But not now, but back in the day, whatever. So anyway, so then boom. When I was over there, I get it in. And I'm seeing all these little nozzle sprays, right? And I ain't really know what to think of it. But I seen it in the back of his car today. And I'm like, oh. And I put one or two together way later on. And they being crafty. And they what they doing is they putting they, they hell when they dope in the little nozzle spray. And they spraying it. Because I seen a bunch of little packs of nozzle spray in the back of his whip. And I said, yeah, that's what they doing. Right? I put, I put one or two together. So that's some new stuff. That I put one or two together on. But um, but anyway, yesterday, you know, talking to a dude, kicking the bobo, whatever, whatever. We was rapping a little taste. We had the same vehicles, you know what I'm saying? So we was talking, blah, blah, blah. And then from after that, uh, basically, uh, it got to a point where we saw talking about, he was talking about his pastor. He said, a man of God. I said, I'm a man of God. Next thing you know. We started, he started talking about this. We started talking about that. And then he started talking about he was in a backslidden state. And then, you know, we talking about where you at. You know what I'm saying? Where you at? Because he's like, where you at? You ain't got no business being here as a man of God. Like, unless you over there working out like I was. Because <laughs> that's the that's where we go work out. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't working out. Okay, so like, it's, it's very little reasons why you need to be in this park right here. You know what I'm saying? Because this park, they getting it in. Okay, they they not even in shame with it. They snorting right if you can see them snorting in front of you, needles in the arms, sleeping, nodding, all that. And these are old heads. They all out there. They deep. Females, males, it's deep. It's it's a heroin park. It's a needle park. 
You're going to see needles on the ground, all that. So, and this Northeast right here, we're talking about Northeast D.C. Uh, but anyway, um, so what happened was, you know, it got to a point where he ended up telling me, like, yeah, you know, I'm a man of God. I'm in a backslidden state, yada, 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 woo, woo, woo. I, ever since I got in touch with this chick, you know what I'm saying, I started backsliding, sleeping with her. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, I moved in with her. Then she kicked me out. And I was taking, you know, short snorting with her, shooting up with her. You know what I'm saying? And then, boom, here I am. And he back over here. And, you know, and this is a bricklayer. So I don't say that to really, like, put him out there like that. But I say that to say, look, you know, this is also a day where I ask the Lord intently in prayer. Lord, use me. Use me for your glory. I want to do your work. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, whatever, right? And so then, boom, this is how the day come to an end. This is how the cookie crumble, right? And it might be in the middle of your day. It might be numerous situations. It might be at the end of your day. It might be the beginning of your day. Who knows, right? But anyway, bottom line, you just got to be on guard and be prepared. You know, um, it was another time I was speaking in spirit. Well, I already think I told y'all what time. I was speaking in the spirit, praying in the spirit. There was a lady in the middle of the street, old head lady. Laid out in the middle of the street like this. And so you just never know, you know what I mean, when you just in tune with God, talking to God, communicating with God, asking God, you know, to lead you, guide you, direct you. And he going to lead you, guide you, direct you, all right? So don't even worry about it. That's why you ain't got to go out here and be on some dunk, dun, and uh, You ain't got to. Because he going to put you in the right spot. Trust me. <laughs> keep on praying that. But, uh, and just keep your mind on him. You know, so you can be focused. Uh, yeah. And anyway, so now, um, you know, basically encouraged to do swapped out phone numbers, yada, 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 X, Y, Z. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Blessed. He was coming into tears when I was praying for him. Not that he did cry, but he was getting to that place. But uh, it was a blessing for him. Um, you know, and you know, you don't know what men and women are going through. Men of God, women of God. I had an aunt who backslid, got on heroin, doped up. This out, we're talking about Bed Stuy right now. Or oh, is this Bed Stuy or Newark? I think this is Newark. Either Bed Stuy or Newark. I think this is Newark, New Jersey, which is both vicious spots. But at the time, the Bed Stuy ain't nowhere near it was, but uh, near the way it was. But Newark is vicious to this day. It's always been vicious. It ain't about to get no less vicious. It's just like one of them places like East St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, uh, just one of them places like Brownsville, Brooklyn. It's just going down. But um, anyway, uh, so, so she died, you know, uh, with the Lord, but not long before that she was on heroin but she rededicated her life to the lord i would say maybe months months for months at a time she'd been living for the lord months 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 clean for months you know what i'm saying praying for months living for the lord for months died in worship see what i'm saying after being addicted to heroin months ago see what i'm saying so you never know how people's life will span out but anyway uh, or pan out but so now we back at it. Now I'm looking in the back seat. I see the nozzle spray. I'm like, oh, this dude on dope. Because I was wondering, I didn't know what it was, right? I didn't even know if he was uh, foreign because he was dark skinned. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, 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 you know, he had like strong, you know, cheekbones and everything. I thought he was African, right? You know what I'm saying? I ain't know, but uh, meaning from the country. And, uh, but nah, he wasn't and everything. And so then I started to see, oh, this is, this is a dude, like he probably, like he was in his 40s. Kind of, I started looking at how he was dressed. I was like, oh, this dude, he a, he a homie. He he from the city. He kind of got a little style with him. But, you know, you got dudes out here on dope. Young dudes. You know, uh, it's all types of flavors, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people out here on dope young, too. Not as young as uh, Baltimore. You got dudes Baltimore at the age of 15, you know, uh, coming to the windows with the spray. And the, and, the, and the squeegee trying to hit your window so they can get back on that dope. Like, like you know, that's what kill, kind of like kills me 
when I see a lot of these European Americans talking about they going to Haiti or talking about they going out to, to Nigeria to preach the good news. And it's like, dude, it's a lot of white people addicted to drugs in, in America. And, 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 and when I hear black people talking about, yeah, I'm going to uh, way out here to so-and-so, man. Listen, man, we ain't got it good. Like, we need to be preaching the gospel and where we at. Like, are you familiar what it looked like in your own city? Like, we need help here, man. And um, we don't need to be going way over here and way over there. We need to be right here. <laughs> right here. But anyway, um, so, yeah, then after I, I, I got to actually started praying for him. And I said, look, man, I'm about to roll, but I'm about to pray for you, man. And so I get to pray because he's so out of it. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't even nowhere mentally right so i get to praying for him and i'm like heavenly father lord god in the name of the lord jesus christ woo woo and i'm going in you know you know how y'all if y'all know me you know i'm just going in zoning in right and as i'm praying i'm pleading the blood of jesus lord god in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ boom because i'm also thinking about my vehicle over there and i'm thinking about this and i'm thinking about that and i'm thinking about woo woo yada 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 so I'm just praying, Heavenly Father, Lord God, thank you, Jesus, Lord God, cover in the blood of Jesus. I bind up you, Satan, right now. And when I saw the bind, and I'm going to tell you something. Maybe I should have stayed out long. I don't know. But I was, and I'm going to say this um, with carefulness. I was, uh, I'm not going to say it. Bottom line is, I had to think wise. But God is good, right? So I prayed. And I said to him, um, I said to the dude, I you know when I came against Satan, I started bind up the devil Satan in the name of Jesus. And when I started doing that, he looked at me like, like, what in the hell is you talking about? Right? And he looked at me like, what's going on? As if something was going on. I said, Lord, sober him up. Sober him up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And he get to looking at me like what? Like he wasn't even like knocked out no more. And then um, from there, a, a matter of fact, to be honest with you, before we even went in the alleyway like we was going to do, man, the dude, man, oh, man, this is, why, this is how you know it was God. Because the dude was sleeping behind the wheel and the wheel was, and he was driving. And I'm like, this dude don't even realize he's driving. Like it was going like, like two miles or, or, or yeah, two miles per hour. And it was like, this dude didn't even realize he was driving. And I said, dude, man, I said, man, he going to kill somebody, man. But that, like I said, but that's by the time he went in the alleyway. So, the, yeah, so I'm praying for him. I'm praying for him. I'm praying for him. And you know what I'm saying? And as I'm praying for him, I say, hey, man, do you believe in Jesus? And he said to me, uh, he said, no, nah, I'm Muslim. And then uh, I said, look, man, I said, look, because he tried to like, you know how, like, they be trying to have that little debate up in them. But, bro, you ain't got no de more debate up in you, bro. Like, you about to fall asleep on your fat tongue. Like, how this, like no, nah, I don't believe it. I'm Muslim. Like, man, that ain't doing nothing for you right now. I said, look, bro. I said, look, bro, ain't no Muslim. I said, that ain't helping you right about now, bro. I said, it ain't looking good, bro. I said, I said ain't none of that Islam, Muslim stuff helping you out right about now bro i say ain't no muslims around for you right now i say ain't nobody here but for you but but jesus right now and i said i'm coming in jesus name i say ain't nobody else here for you right now so you're gonna have to get some faith right now and, and, and believe in the lord right now because ain't nothing else going for you ain't nothing working for you so all that little oh no i'm muslim like that ain't it ain't looking good it ain't looking good you don't even look convinced you don't even look convincing you know what i'm saying like you look like you wish you could debate. You look like that's that would be a delightful thing for you to do if you had the capabilities, but you don't. But anyway, that's when I said, boom, I'm going to have to get on the body. So that's when I broke out. And um, I prayed for him, boom, 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 prayed for him. And I got a battery, man. I said, oh, 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 let me get them keys, man. Took the keys about the ignition. Dropped the keys in the car, man. Closed the door, boom, I'm out. Because I opened up the door and everything, man. That dude, he ain't know what to do, man. Anyway, God bless y'all, man. Continue to ask God, uh, you know, for his guidance and his help and um, and leading you and doing his will and, um, you know, use, being used for his glory and, and, and bringing joy to him and things of that nature. And, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, speak it as, 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 as heartfelt as you can to the Lord 
And um, yeah, that's about all I gotta really say. And uh, I will say another video. I will make another one, but uh, I, I'm trying to go to bed at a good time, and I'm not trying to do too much. So anyway, uh, I'm a, I got another video I'm gonna make for you tomorrow because tomorrow Friday, so I got some more videos for you. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a Lord, Lord willing, I'll be able to make those. God bless y'all in the mighty name of the Lord, Yeshua, Hamashiach. <laughs> God bless y'all, man. God bless.